Uh, I want to start off by saying Brakatha Yahawu, Brakatha Yaharashai, Brakatha Yahawu, Brakatha Yaharashai. Call Halal Yahawu by Hashem Yahawashai. Call Halal Yahawu by Hashem Yahawashai by Hashem Rakakwadash. Double honors to the elders and apostles at Great Millstone that told me this doctrine in truth and sincerity. Shalom unto the elect. The Heavenly Father's name is Yahawu, which means he is or he exists. By Hashem in the name of his only begotten son, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ. We know his name to be Yahweh Shai, which means he is the deliverer. He is the savior for the Hebrew Israelites from the pedigree of your father. By Hashem in the name of the Rakat Kodash, which means the Holy Spirit. That's able to give us the knowledge, wisdom, and understanding of who we are, which are the true Hebrew Israelites. If you're so-called Negro, so-called Latino, so-called Native American, or of the speckled bird, looking like the other nations in your spirit, bear witness with our spirit that we are the children of Yahweh Hashem Shai, then you could be one of the elect. Shalom. We've been discontinued from our heritage because we went all following after false gods and false idols and not following the law, set your commandments that was given to us by our forefathers. And because of those offenses, we were sent into captivity under our oppressors. But through our Lord, Yahweh Shai HaMashiach, being that perfect sacrifice in the flesh to the Heavenly Father, he's been given all power to be able to sit on the right hand side of the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, to be able to open the seals of this book, to be able to give the understanding to the disciples, the apostles, the prophets, and the men on down to be able to wake up the tabernacle of David before the said destruction. And with that knowledge, wisdom, and understanding, we're able to know who our oppressor is, which is Esau Edom. Esau means wasted away he is, and they are the biblical Edomites that it speaks about in the scriptures that in the latter days would have the fatness of the earth and would rule it with the great sword. And this would be the so-called white men of today, the Rothschilds, the Rockefellers, the Oppenheimers, the DuPonts, the Warburgs, the Schiffs, the ones that would be bringing forth the persecution, um, calling um, this word, you know, demonizing the word. They would be pushing forth, a, um, you know, the, their satanic, um, you know, uh, worship, you know, uh, trying to ban the Bible. They would have even our own people that would have 501c3 contracts, you know, with them, bringing forth their agenda, which is their agenda is to what? Divide and conquer, to have our people in darkness and gross darkness and to have our people, um, you know, um, you know, blinded by the God of this world, blinded by the riches of this world, the carnality of this world, and blinded by the numbers, okay? And the Lord didn't come for everybody. The Lord only came for what? His elect. And that's what I want to touch around, uh, touch on in this lesson. You know, the brother had put this out, I believe the brother from GMS Orlando, okay? And this was just a short of, um, you know, one of the leaders at IUIC, okay? And you know, one thing that he was, uh, I'm going to play the video, but just when you, when you read, this is actually their site and it says, you touch one, you touch us all. Israel united in Christ extended our condolences to, and it was speaking about a guy that had got, um, I believe decapitated or something like that. But we know that the Lord is the one that brings forth the judgment on our people. Okay. And we're not supposed to gather up arms. Let's just, uh, touch on that real quick before I play the video. Okay, our weapons of warfare, let me just get the scriptures. <clears throat> this is Romans 8 and 7. <laughs> because also you had where you had a skirmish between um, ISUPK and IUIC, okay? And, you know, with that, that carnality, you know, both those camps have a, a 501c3s. OK, and, you know, at some point they're going to have to do these different uh, things. I'm not saying that that was, but in the future, they're going to have to do certain things. And, you know, when I show you the video, you're going to see that he's trying to um, make this a, a black thing. OK, when this is actually a Hebrew Israelite thing. OK, and the, the guy that was, uh, you know, killed was, you know, looked to be a so-called black black man. Okay, of today, as far as how he looked. Okay, and this is about a Hebrew Israelite thing, and this is about a, a righteous thing over over a wickedness thing. Because again, even our people, amongst our people, are wicked people that the Lord is going to kill. Okay, that's why you have a one third, which would be the very elect, the remnant. Okay, and you have a two third that's going to be the ones that are going to be sacrificed. Now, in the kingdom, okay, they will come back all Israel. All the Hebrew Israelites will come back in their right state of mind. But in this point in time, to the Lord, Yahweh Shai, you know, um, you know, comes back, okay, there, there's going to be a one-third, which is the elect, and there's going to be a two-third, 
okay, which is going to be the people that are going to be destroyed in what Babylon the Great, okay, and the Lord's bringing forth his judgment, right, on, on these people because they will not hearken to this word. They're engaged in, um, it speaks about how, um, you know, a drunkard cannot in enter the kingdom, how, um, you know, a one that's, you know, a man on man, a woman on woman. Okay, one that's, uh, you know, worshiping idols, one that's far following after adultery. Okay, and the, you know, the list goes on far as the things that that, that are, you're not going to be able to enter into the kingdom. That's why we have to repent and be converted, you know, turn back from those old ways. But two thirds of our people are not going to repent for their sins. Okay, even those that have that know they're of Israel. That's why it speaks about a first Peter four and 17 that. There's going to be uh, the judgment's going to begin at Israel. Those that know they're of, um, know that know that they're Hebrew Israelites. Okay, so this is Romans eight and seven because the carnal mind, which a carnal mind is what the the brute the brute beast, but the carnal mind is enmity against thy power, for it is not subject to the law of the of thy power, neither indeed can be. Yeah, because a carnal mind is enmity with the Lord. Let's read this in the NLT. For the sinful nature is always hostile towards thy power. It never did obey thy power's laws and never will. Yeah, so it never will. Okay. That says. All right. So, you no, know, that's the that's the point of it. So you being carnal is not a way to, to be, you know, being violent. We're going to raise up the nation and the Lord's not coming for everybody. You know, we're going to march. OK, things like that. And that's not going to be able to work because it didn't work in past times. OK, for instance, when we were, um, you know, doing that in what the 60s and 70s. OK, when you had the what the Black Panthers, you had the what the um, the Young Lords and you had the the Native American. Um, forgot what the name is, but you had the, the all the all the tribes had their different thing. OK. And. That didn't work. Why? Because it didn't have the spirit of Yahweh Shema Shai in it. Right? And now the Lord is what? Raising up his his uh, great army, his spiritual army to what? Combat these elites with what? The truth. With this word. Okay? There's another scripture. This is uh, James. So like yeah, 2 Corinthians. Ten and four. It says, "For the weapons of warfare are not cardinal, okay, but mighty through thy power to pulling down the strongholds." Okay, let's read this in NLT. We use our powers, mighty weapons, which is what this word. Okay, this word is what like Hebrews four and twelve. It's like a two-edged sword cutting asunder. Okay, and with that sword, you're either going to be on the right hand side of things, which is the the righteous, the right doctrine, the sound doctrine, or you're going to be on the left hand side of things. And you're going to get caught up with the plagues and get hit with the end of the sword. And if you're in the middle, you're going to get sliced right down the middle. Okay. And this is speaking about a spiritual sword. Okay. And spiritually, you will be cut ultimately. And, and if you don't hearken to this word, if you don't, you know, listen to the reproof or the rebuke, you will get caught up with the plagues in this book, the bloodshed, the strife, the calamity, the judgment that the Lord is sending forth. You can't, there's no uh, middleman in this. Okay, you're not going to be a middleman. Oh, I'm, I'm on this side. I'm I'm neutral. No, you can't be neutral. You're either with Yahweh Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh not Most High Christ Bless, or you're with Esau Edom because Esau Edom pushes forth that Most High Christ Bless. Esau Edom pushes forth uh, Yahweh Yahshua. Okay, that's that's that side. That's the left side. That's the left-handed energy because the Lord says we're also not even supposed to use those words. Okay, far as those names. Right. So again, Second Corinthians 10 and four for the weapons of warfare, are not carnal, but mighty through our power to pulling down the strongholds, casting down imaginations and every high thing that exalt itself against the knowledge of thy power and bringing into captivity every thought of obedience of Hamashiach. So, yes, it says Christ right there, but that actually means uh, Hamashiach means anointed one. OK, it means the what the Messiah. He is the Messiah. OK. And what the Hebrew and whenever people see that word Christ or, or, or Jesus, OK, what do they see? They see that white pale face image, that Renaissance art, that Caesar Borgia, that Serapis Christi. 
Okay, and that's what you see, or that's what people think far as in a worldly sense when they see. That's why they have the 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 Christ right there, because they want everyone united. They want everyone united because they they think they're greater in numbers. When the Lord only came for a very small sanctuary, so you touch one, you touch us all. So that's not true, okay? Because we're not all of us are not the same, okay? And there's a couple of different topics I'm going to be touching on. So just you know, more well, it's edifying. This is Romans 9 and 6. It says, not as though the word of thy power had taken none effect, for they are not all Israel, which are of Israel. Because, again, there is a two thirds and there is going to be they have the real men of the Lord, which we believe to be the head apostles at Great Millstone. And then you have the other the other uh, the false prophets that are going to be on the scene. OK, the Lord said that that would happen. And uh, what Matthew, when the disciples acquire, what shall be the end times? And this is what the Lord said. Yep, it says Matthew 24 and 5 For many shall come in my name saying I am Christ and I shall deceive many Okay, and they're just coming in the name of the Bible. Hey, I got the Bible. Look, I got the fringes Okay, hey, I'm 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 holy, right? But there's there's a there's a sound doctrine and there's a there's an off doctrine Okay Because it speaks about in this right here. This is Ezekiel 14 and 9 Ezekiel 14 and 9. And if a prophet be deceived when he has spoken a thing, I, Yahweh, had deceived that prophet, and I will stretch out my hand upon him, and I will destroy him in the midst of my people Israel. Okay? And that prophet has been deceived. When they're saying that the MOT to the B is, is uh, something that's sin, okay, when it's actually something that's a physical, okay, and if you take it, because the Lord has given it, that's why it speaks about Revelation 13 and 18, here is the wisdom. If thou shalt tell, you know, if you can be able to to understand what the what the Chiastite Sigma is and who those people are, which are the biblical Edomites. And they're pushing forth an agenda to um, have people blinded by their by their, um, um, you know, by their devices, by their technology. OK, which ultimately is just the mark of the it's the mark of the beast. OK, it's the MOT to the B, which is something that's physical when you go into the word mark. Okay, it goes into three different root words. You have the karagma, which is the actual device, okay, which is something that's physical. Okay, they want to embed inside of your hand or your forehead. That's why you have the brain implants. Okay, that's why you have over there in Sweden what's going on. That's why you have the CBDC that's being pushed. That's why you have the Fed now. That's why you have the banks collapsing, taking away the petrol dollar, bringing in the digital currency. Okay, these are the things that are going on, and that camp does not push that. That is, that is a, a um, where their leadership is deceiving um, the ones under them. Okay, um, and then also you have what that name, the Most High Christ blessed. They say they know the name, but then they come with a different name. So that's confusion. And the Lord's not the author of confusion. Okay, and it says ten. It says, and they shall bear the punishment of thy iniquity and the punishment of thy prophet shall be even as that punishment of him that seeketh unto him. Okay, so these false prophets are going to be what punish. Okay, they're not going to be able to roam around on horses and be able to exalt themselves. The Lord is going to humble them. Okay, by what? In front of the whole congregation, the whole congregation is going to be able to see unless they repent. Because this doctrine that, that is from up high, from, which is uh, Harashai's father's doctrine, Yahweh Shemarashai's doctrine, okay, is not of this world, okay? And it speaks about that many different times, and they're trying to make it what, a worldly doctrine. <laughs> this is James 4 and 4. You adulterers and your adulteresses, you know not your friendship of the world is enmity with thy power, okay? And enmity means against. With that power, whoever therefore will be a friend of the world is an enemy of Yahweh Shimei Shai. In a contract, a 501c3, okay, is you are in bed with Esau Edom, okay? And at some point in time, you're going to have to do what he says. Exodus 23 and 8, and thou shalt not, it says, and thou shall take no gift from the gift that blinded the wise and perverted the words of the righteous. And that's what's happening. The word is being perverted with um a worldly doctrine that this is for everybody you touch one of ours we're gonna get you and that's not that's not how the lord wants us to do he wants us to study that show thyself improve and give diligence to make your call and election sure and what defend the gospel it's about the gospel it's not about personal relationships it's about the gospel okay 
working out your own salvation with fear and trembling, right? It says, Exodus 23 and 13, and all things that I have said unto you by the circumspect, it says, Sakia, and all things that I have said unto you, be circumspect, yeah, paying attention, watching for these things, because you could be in those, in an IUIC or IS, these different camps, and your leader could be leading you astray. Okay, that's why you have to work out your own salvation with fear and trembling. The Lord doesn't want man pleasers. You're just following after a man because you you like you like his uh, characteristics or he speaks good. He 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 has a nice garment. He wears a he he rides on a horse. No, that you can't. That's not what you follow. You follow the doctrine because the Lord said he would send forth pastors of his own heart. Okay, and also it speaks about um, the sheep shall hear my voice because the Lord's mouthpiece is the holy prophets. OK, the true men of the Lord, the the um, the very elect. OK, Exodus 23 and 13, it says, and all it says in all things that I have said unto you, be circumspect and suck it and make no mention, make no mention of the name of other gods. Neither let it be heard out of thy mouth. And that that name, Most High Christ blessed is another God. OK, that's not. Uh, Yahweh Shai. That's not Yahweh Yahweh Shai. Exodus 23 and 13. Pay close attention. Okay. And the NLT. Pay close attention to all my instructions. You must not call on the name of any other gods. Do not even speak their names. That's clear as day what that says. Okay. And what do they do? They call on other gods. They, they so-called know the name. But now they call on other gods. So what, what kind of that? That's a double minded man is unstable in all his ways. James 1 and 8. Right. This is Exodus 23 and 32. Thou shalt make no covenant with them, nor with their gods. And what is a covenant? You're making a vow when you have a 501c3. OK. And when, that, that's a that's a covenant with the world. <laughs> that's a covenant with Esau, Edom to be of the world. OK. And this is another one. First John. <clears throat> First John two and fifteen. It says, Love not the world, neither the things are that are in the world. If any man love the world and love the Father is not in him. So you love the world, you know, you love the prestige that the that the, the women give you. You know, the all the women love me. Um, look at my congregation, look at all the numbers I got. It's not about numbers. And this is to back that up, Ezekiel 11 and 16. Therefore, it said, Thus said Yahabba Shema Shai, all that have cast them far off among the heathen. And are we among the heathen? Okay, in a nation that we didn't know, speaking a different language, right? Going into the curses we would be under. And although I have scattered them among the countries, yet will I be them as a little sanctuary in the countries where they shall come. So all these camps are what the little sanctuaries. It's not all about the numbers. OK, that John 3, 16, the whole world is not for the whole world. OK, it's for the particularly just the elect and in in this in this time. OK, because only elect's going to be able to attain it while two thirds are going to be caught up in the destruction of this world. You know, the, the things of this world because they love this world. OK, let's go back to that first John two and 16 for all that is in the world, the lust of the flesh and the lust of the eyes and the pride of life is not of the father, but is of the world. Let's read this in the NLT for the world offers only a craving for physical pleasure. OK, the hand claps. Ah, you know, look at the Look at all my views, you know, and that goes into your pride where you don't have to do, you know, you just lay back on the work. I did my work. No, the Lord said every day the Yahweh Shai taught daily in the temple. So how much more his servants that are that are that are righteousness of filthy rags because Yahweh Shai was perfect. OK. First John 2 and 16 in the NLT for the world offers only a craving for physical pleasure, a craving for everything we see. OK. Yeah. Going into where we lust after things in this world. It may be a woman. But she has a man and maybe, a, um, you know, a, a money because you want to take care of your family. But you can't do that because you would be, you know, stealing or, or whatever. OK, you would be sacrificing your integrity. OK, so this this thing goes into being obedient or, or you know, showing um, uh, discipline is a better word. You know, showing, uh, you know, you have to have discipline. 
Okay, not lusting after every little thing because knowing that it could get you in trouble. Okay, for physical pleasure, a craving for everything we see and pride in achievements. Yeah, pride in achievements. So achieving a certain goal. I have this much of uh, my congregation this week. We're going to have at the, at the Sabbath, which is supposed to be a solemn assembly. We're going to have a, a horse. I'm going to get on a horse and then I'm going to have Esau guiding me in. Okay, it says in our achievements and our possessions. These are not from the father, but are from the world. Yes, yeah, straight up worldly because our even our Lord Yahweh Shai came on a donkey. Right. It says as um, far as in, in his different pastimes. Right. You know, far as when he, when he came as a different um, in the reincarnation. First John two and 17. It says, and this world is fading away along with everything that people crave. But anyone who does what it pleases, that power will live forever. OK. It says, dear children, the last hour is here. You have heard that the anti-Hamashiach, so there's many anti-Hamashiachs, okay, is coming. And already many as many anti-Hamashiachs have appeared, like I said, many anti-anointeds, okay, ones that they call upon JC, they call upon Yahshua, they, they claim to know the Bible, okay, but really they, they're really anti-Messiahs, uh, okay. It says, have appeared from this, we know that the last hour has come, okay? And we're at that point where the last hour, where um, all the prophecies have to be fulfilled. As I was in that first, um, you know, all things have to be fulfilled, okay? On this, as uh, far as the prophecies, right? So there's many anti masha there's many people that are going to follow uh, wickedness, okay? But the elect is not going to be... Um, you know, let me get this scripture, John 4, 17 and 14. I have given them the, the word. Okay. So the word goes into decree, goes into, um, that word right there. It goes into a, a Legos or logos. Okay. Which goes into a, a, a mandate, a decree that the Lord has given us to follow a commandment. Right. I have given them the word, which is Yahweh and the world have hated them. Because they are not of the world, even as I am of the world. So, the, because they're not of the world. So, you're not going to be liked by everybody. So, when someone doesn't like you, that's a good thing. You don't want people to like you in the society. Now, I'm not saying go out and be a, a, you know, a tyrant or something like that. Okay? What I'm saying is for the doctrine. Okay? It's not a worldly doctrine. This is John 17, and the Lord has given us the name. Okay? This is... um. Yeah, six, John 17 and 6, I have manifested, which means what? To be revealed thy name unto thy men, unto thy men, which thou gavest me out of the world. Thy there, it says, thine they were, and thou gavest them me, and they have kept thy word. So they have kept thy word. So they stayed loyal. They didn't start, uh, as soon as they got some uh, money, they started mocking the name. They they stayed loyal because the Lord also said that we are friends of um, I, I, sh I shall call you no more servants, but but friends. John fifteen, okay, roughly paraphrasing that. So, in a friend, you're not gonna uh, uh, shit on a um, you know, on a friend's name, okay? You're gonna hold on to that name no matter what, okay? Especially a name that that's holy and sacred, right? And again, this is only about the very elect. All right, so let me play a little bit of this video. Hey, Shalom Israel, Most High in Christ, bless. We want to open up and give our condolences. See, and that's what I was saying right there about the name. That's why I kept bringing out scriptures about that, okay? Because, again, that brings off, he has a, a, a big following, and a lot of people see that as that's, that's the way that we should be, and that's not true, okay? And also with the, with the fringes, okay? He has the fringes, you know, it's supposed to be down, you know, down to to, to um, a long garment. Okay, it speaks about that in apographer. Okay, and they're using it as um, you know merchandise in the product. And when they merchandise the product before, what Yaharashai to do? He turned the tables. Okay, because this this product, this you know, the um, the word is not to be what merchandise. Okay. 
sister Tiffany Carter, the mother of Rashim Carter. We support you. We love you, Israel. We need to come together, unite as one people, one nation, one race. We can do great things together. Okay. So there was a couple of things that were said right there. Okay. And, you know, those that don't know, you know, I didn't. I didn't hear about this case, but this is what happened, right? Rashim Carter was found decapitated in Mississippi woods. His family believes he was murdered. So because one Jake gets murdered, right? We're supposed to go down there and do what? Unite in what? What are we uniting in Christ? Because that's not, we're supposed, that's not what the Lord says, right? And we know this is a judgment of the Lord, okay? And what he's pushing forth is an energy of of, of, you know, that, that black bullshit, that black, that black shit. Okay. Which is void of light. Cause when you look at this right here at the same time, he's doing this and I'm just looking at it through, you know, the, the spirit brought me to this, right? This is the NWACP issues travel advisory for Florida saying the state is openly hostile towards African Americans under governor DeSantos administration. So now, because they did not, which NWACP is actually funded by these elites, okay? I was going to go into a lesson about that. It's funded by what the Rockefellers, the educational system, okay? And which also goes into the uh, the civil rights movement, which the civil rights movement, Martin Luther King, Malcolm X, all those guys were insiders with these elites. And they, they use these to be able to control our people, to have inside knowledge. So if any time Jake comes with the thought, what do they do? They they um, come with COINTELPRO, okay? So read this NWACP issues travel advisory for Florida saying the state is openly hostile towards African-Americans, which we're not African-American. OK, we are Hebrew Israelites, so-called Negro, so-called Latino, so-called Native Americans. OK, and even of a speckled bird, because we have uh, our people that are going to look like the other nations that are going to come into this truth. They're going to look like so-called white men. OK, but, but it's all about the spirit. Okay, it's not about the blackest, the most Latino, the most Native American. And African American goes back to what? A Leo Africanus. Okay. Uh Leo Scipicanus, which which goes into um a, a doctrine that we would be called Proverbs and Bywords, Deuteronomy uh, twenty eight and thirty seven. Okay, that we would be called out of our name. Okay. Right? So this was this was another one that came out. What did you have? You had Biden. Okay, so I just read that, right? So you have what the Biden, I did a lesson about this. Yeah, it says uh, what Biden calls white supremacy, greatest terrorism threat as 2024. Meanwhile, he's at a what? He's at one of these uh, HB um, Howard University, which is a, a so-called black college. Again, black means void of light. That's the social construct that Esau Edom put in place to paint himself as as white purity and paint us as black, you know, black death, black plague. OK, when no one's white or black, everyone is different shades of brown. And Esau Edom is a so-called red man going back to his pigmentation that he would be translucent. His blood would show through. That would be evidence of what that he is the wicked one. And that would come through the, um, uh, Esau Edom, okay, which is which is the ones that are in control today, the ones that signed the the check for the five hundred one c threes, okay. So at the same time that they're pushing that, those two things, and this was the one that came out this morning. It says Democrats declare Florida a terrorist state, issue red travel advisory. Look what they say: Democrats have officially declared the state of Florida to be a terrorist state as far as black and what. The, the transformers, right? People are concerned. So that's, and that shows you that they were linking those two, those two things together the whole time. Okay. That's what the civil rights movement was all about. So they could bring forth those the transformers, the man on man, the woman on woman, you know, ultimately coming after your children. Okay. And they put in black in black into that. Okay. Which again, black is a social construct. Okay. And that shows you that this word is reaching up, um, you know, to, to these, uh, you know, to these officials, to these Democrats and the, you know, these different, uh, DeSantos, he's supposed to be running for president. Okay. And that's what you have being what, uh, a push. Okay. And it's agenda is to have what people fighting one against another fighting over the land that that's going to be destroyed. Okay. So you have 
with the NWACP issues travel advisory for Florida. Then you have DeSantos declares Florida a terrorist state. Then you have uh, Biden, the pe- uh, pedo Joe, okay, speaking about that. And then now you have what IUIC saying that we need to unite in, in Christ. And we are, we, you know, and then what does it say? You touch one, you touch us all, okay? And when the Lord, and just to touch on the uh, the topic about the um, the Jake that got killed, yeah, we're, we're in the flesh, so you don't, you know, um, but when you're in the spirit, you have the understanding that the Lord is the one that sends forth the judgment on our people because our people are wicked, okay? This is Psalm 68 and 20. I just want to touch on that topic right there because we're not supposed to worry about why a person got killed. The Lord is the one that's doing it, okay? The Lord has what, and, and if someone did it to him, the Lord also has spirits created for vengeance. Esau Edom is a spirit created, spirit created for vengeance that, that, that's been oppressing us for years, okay? But we're supposed to preach this word. We're not supposed to go marching around the Barclays Center or we're not supposed to be... Um, we're supposed to learn this, learn this, learn these scriptures through the power of Yahweh Shema Shai and go out and teach. That's what we're supposed to do. And endure long suffering and be a good soldier for Hamashiach. Okay? Psalm 68 and 20. He that is our power, okay, is thy power of salvation. And unto our power, our Lord, belong the issues from death. So the Lord Yahweh Shema Shai is the one that brings forth the issues of death. Okay? So if you have a problem with that, that's that means you have a problem with the Lord. Okay? This is 1 Samuel. First Samuel 2 and 6. The Lord Yahweh. So what is it? It's all capital. Yahweh. And back then they knew the name. The Lord Yahweh killeth and maketh alive. He bringeth down to the grave and bringeth up. So when when that man got decapitated or whatever that happened, whether whether it's real. Or it's fake because you also have psyops because they want Jake to be roused up. And it says that Jake will be roused up. OK, they will be like a bull in a net, you know, and it speaks about in Genesis 49. Who shall uh, raise up Judah? The tents of Judah, I think roughly paraphrasing. OK, first Samuel two and six, which would be the so-called black men of today. It says six. The Lord Yahweh killeth and maketh alive. He bringeth down to the grave and bringeth up. OK, let's read this in NLT. The Lord. Yahweh Shema Shai gives both death and life. He brings some down to the grave, again, to the shower, to the spirit world, right? Okay. It says, but raises others up. Okay. So he brings up and he and he uh, brings down. Okay. Issues of death. He kills and he makes alive. Let's get another one. A lot of people don't understand that. Okay. The duality of our Lord. OK, he is omnipotent. He controls all things. Everything is is, is uh, already been written from the beginning. Deuteronomy 32 and 39. See now that I am he and he and there is no God with me. I kill. So when that when that when that guy got killed, the Lord did it. I kill. I make alive. I wound. I heal. Neither is there any that you can deliver out of my hand. So no one's going to be delivered out of your hands unless the Lord allows it. OK, which would be you would have to be of the elect. OK. This is um, <clears throat> Job 4 and 6. Job 4 and 6. Yep. No, I just get to the point. It says Job 4 and 7. Remember, I pray thee, O whoever perished being innocent, or where the righteous cut off. So, when that person died, did they die innocent? Does anybody die innocent? No, we are, we're all sinners, okay? Job 4 and 8, even as I've seen they that plow iniquity, yes, sin upon sin, and so wickedness reap the same. By the blast of thy power, thy perish, and by the breath of thy nostrils are they consumed. So who's that coming from? Yahweh Shema Shai. Let's read this in NLT. Stop and think, do the innocent, seven. Stop and think, do the innocent die? That's the question, right? It's... It says, when have the upright been destroyed? Okay, my experience shows that those who plant trouble and cultivate evil will harvest the same. A breath from thy power destroys them. They vanish in the blast of his anger. Okay, because again, if you're not following the ways of Yahweh Shema Shai, then the Lord is angry with you. Okay, because you're following the ways of this world. You're trying to get a... a, a you know, I don't know that guy's story, but the thing is, is that was he out there on the highways and the byways? 
Okay, was he calling on the name of Yahweh and Yahweh Shai? Okay, and again, the Lord is the one that brings forth the judgment on our on our uh, on everybody. Okay, and again, this is only for the elect, and the elect's gonna have that understanding. Again, we're in the flesh, so we understand that that you know. That, that, that moves us a certain way when we see it. But but when you have the, the spiritual understanding, you know that the Lord is the one that's doing that. Okay? And you're going to go against the Lord because you feel a certain way because you want to please this, this woman and her child. Okay? And that's what he's pushing. He's pushing forth that, that, that Black Lives Matter uh, BS, that BLM, you know, to be cardinal. Okay? I want to play this one more time, but I'm going to touch on the elect. <laughs> Race. We can do great things together. And with that, Shalom. Hey, Shalom Israel, Most High in Christ blessed. We want to open up and give our condolences to Tiffany Carter, the mother of Rashim Carter. We support you. We love you, Israel. We need to come together, unite as one people, one nation, one race. We can do great things together. And with that, Shalom. Hey, Shalom. See, in one race of what? United in Christ? Because also this is the group that says that we are not Hebrew Israelites, but we're just Israelites. Okay, when we're actually Hebrew Israelites. Right? That's also another doctrine that they push is that they're just uh, they're just Israelites. Okay, they're not Hebrew Israelites. <laughs> and when that when you hear that, um, what they're saying, it sounds like, okay, one race because they only see him. OK, you only see, a, you know, a so-called so-called uh, black guy as far as and I'm saying this far as the world, how the world sees it. If they're not in the truth, they don't or if they don't not around the things that are going on, they don't know. OK, and they just see that. Oh, one race when the Lord's not uniting everybody. OK, that's the point I want to touch on. Romans 11 and 7. Get right to the point. Romans 11, 7. What then? Israel had not attained it, which he seeketh for, but the election had obtained it, and the rest were blinded. Yeah, blinded by what? The God of this world. Blinded by the 501c3s. Blinded by the lust of their belly. Okay? Which makes them anti-Hamashiach unless they repent. Okay? So I want to get this word election. Because, again, it's not for everybody. Okay? Strong's G, 1589, Eklage, Eklage. Eklage, so the Greek, 1589, the act of picking out or choosing, and who chose us, Yahabah Shemashach, from the foundation of the earth, Adawan Ratiza, we endure to the end. The act of that power is free will by which, before the foundation of the world, he decreed his blessings to certain persons, to certain people. So certain people are going to be able to get the understanding of, of these scriptures, which would be the elect, which would be the first church, the Allahayim, okay? It should be the um of the powers that the Lord was that that were with Yahavashai in the beginning. It says the decree, which the decree also goes into the word, made from the choice by which he determined to bless certain persons through Hamashiach, okay, through the anointed, by grace alone. Yeah, by grace alone. So of a person's right, what does it say? God's elect. Okay, chosen, election. Okay, so that's his elect, right? And so when you go into Galatians 6 and 17, or 6 and 16, Salakia, Galatians 6 and 16, as many as walk according to this rule, peace be unto them and mercy upon the Israel of thy power. Okay, let's read this NLT. My power is peace and mercy be upon all who live by this principle. They are new people of Yahweh Shemel Shai. So new, which means what? Refresh. Okay. That you're you're that you're not on that, that old mentality. Okay. You've been what renewed in your mind. You've been transformed from what the things of this world. You're not in that black state of mind. Okay. You're not in that uh, lust of that belly state of mind. Okay. You're in what um you're in getting your mind right mode. Okay, Romans 12 and 2. Be not conformed to the world, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind. The renewing of your mind. So putting off that old nigga and putting on the new man. And it says, be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind that you may prove that what is good and acceptable, perfect will of Yahweh Shemashai. So when you're renewed in your mind, you have the understanding that the Lord is the one that kills and also makes alive. Okay, that's why it's a fearful thing to fall in the hands of the living power. 
So once you understand that, you're not going to unite. And also when you have the true understanding, you understand that not everybody's going to be able to have the understanding. That's why it speaks about in Matthews 13 and 11. It says, Matthew 13, 11, and he answered and said unto them, is because it is given to you to know the mysteries of the kingdom of heaven, but to them it is not given. So what is that speaking about? That it would only be given to the elect, only those mysteries, okay? And the, the servants, the prophets would have the, the, the mysteries to be able to make it plain upon tables, okay? That would be the mouthpiece and the believers would be able to follow those um, sheep, okay? It would be able to follow those uh, those shepherds, okay? Which the good shepherd is Yahweh Shai. Okay, and he sent forth what shepherds of his own heart. This is uh, Daniel, or it's like a, Daniel 10 and 20, John 10 and 27. My sheep hear my voice and I know them and they follow me. So they follow the true man of the Lord, which we believe to be the head apostle at Great Millstone. 28, and I give unto them eternal life and they shall never perish, neither shall any man pluck them out of my hand. My father, which gave them me is greater than all. And no man is able to pluck them out of their father's hand. So if any man comes with a false doctrine, okay, the elect is not going to follow after um, every every wind of doctrine. Okay, going into this is not for everyone. This is John 10 and 5. I'll get right to the point. And a stranger will they not follow, but will flee from him for they that know the voice of strangers. So, you know, those that are in those certain groups, they're going to flee away from those people. Uh, once these things, these certain things are coming out as far as everybody, you know, because the next step is they're going to say everybody can make it. OK, because they're already saying, you know, we need to unite everyone. And that's not it's not about everyone. It's about the remnant. OK. And that's why their mouths what need to be stopped. This is Romans or Titus one and nine. <clears throat> Titus one and nine, holding fast the faithful word as he had been. OK, taught that he may be able to by sound doctrine, both to exhort and to convince the gainsayers, yet to encourage the gainsayers to what continue in the faith, continue in the true sound doctrine. OK, not continue in a, a worldly doctrine. It says 10, for there are many unruly and vain talkers and deceivers, especially they of the circumcision. So those that know they're of Israel. So just because, you know, you're a Hebrew Israelite, it doesn't mean that you're of the elect. OK, that's why you have to uh, show diligence to make your call and election sure. OK, this is Titus 1 and 11, whose mouths must be stopped, be stopped or subvert whole houses, teaching things which they ought not to filthy lucre's sake. And that's what you have is those camps are being taught. Um, Slakia, those uh, camps are being what, um, uh, you know, getting paid money through the 501c3. OK, and what I read in Exodus 23, a gift, you know, a bribe, um, you know, blinded the eye. OK, and that's actually. Um, that's actually the scripture right here. I'll get that one, too. This is Ecclesiastic 7 and 7. It says, surely oppression make a wise man mad. So seeing that happen to to Jake, yeah, that, that makes you upset. Right. But we know it's the judgment of the Lord. Make a wise man mad and a gift destroyed the heart. And that's what you see right there. A gift of destroying the heart. Um, you know, people that had the truth. And then what do they do? They they made it a worldly thing. OK. And the Lord's taking away that oil. OK. That they if that they had it. Right. As far as any any type of truth that they had, it's out the door. OK. And. Going into uh, 2 Timothy 3 and 4, they become, uh, you know, high minded, you know, lovers of pleasures. Let me let me get that, too. This is 2 Timothy 3 and 4. 2 Timothy 3 and 4. Yeah, it says. Yeah, 2 Timothy 3 and 4, it says traitors. Yeah, traitors. Traitors, heady, high-minded, lovers of pleasures more than lovers of thy power, having a form of godliness, but denying the power thereof from such turn away. Yeah, so having the form of, you know, I'm a Hebrew Israelite, look at my fringes, you know, I got the Bible, okay, but actually inwardly what they are, what, uh, raving wolves, okay, looking who they made, of, you know, as far as, you know, coming with the sound, you know, coming with the off doctrine, you know, that leads the people astray, 
Okay, that's why it speaks about Ezekiel 14 and, and uh, 9 and 10, the punishment of the false prophet. Okay, because again, this is only for the elect. This is, um, yeah, so going back to that, this is Romans, because the Lord had made what their table a snare. I want to read this one more time. Romans 11 and 7. What the Israel had not attained that which he seeketh for, but the election had attained it and the rest were blinded. Blinded by what? The things of this world. And just because you're an Israelite, let me bring this out one more time. Romans 9 and 6. Not as though that the word of thy power had taken an effect, for they are not all of Israel, which are of Israel. Going to just because you're a Hebrew Israelite doesn't mean that you're going to be of the elect. Right? So Romans 11 and 7, right? So I read that. So 8, according as it is written, thy power had given them the spirit of slumber eyes that they should not see and ears they should not hear unto this day. Okay, going back to Genesis um, 3 and 24, where the where the cherubims, the angels had blinded, um, you know, the two thirds from what the tree of life. Okay, Romans 11 and, and 9. <clears throat> and David said, let their table be made a seer. And isn't the tabernacle of David being risen up as the days of old? So this is what David said. He also said it in, a, uh, this is a quote from Psalms uh, 69 and 22. Okay, it says, and David said, let their table be made a snare and a trap and a stumbling block and a recompense unto them. And that's exactly what it is. It's a stumbling block. It says, let their eyes be darkened that they may not see and bow down their back always going into, they turn their back away, their back on Yahweh Shemar Shai because of the lust of their belly. Okay. And the elect would be what calling upon that name. Okay. And they would be able to be saved by that name. This is Isaiah 45 and four. Isaiah 45 and 4, for Jacob, my servant's sake, and Israel, mine elect. So Israel, my elect, I have even called thee by thy name. I have surnamed thee, and thou hast not known me. Okay. It says, I am Yahweh, and there is none else. There is no God beside me. I girded thee, though I hast not known me. Okay. So the Lord is the one that's been able to give us the knowledge and understanding. So if we have Hebrew Israelite names, and we're surnaming ourselves, Yasha Allah, and things like that, in the Hebrew, why wouldn't we, our Lord have a Hebrew name? Because there was there was Hebrew, Latin, and what the Greek, John 9 and 9, and, uh, suck it, 19 and 9, 19 and 19. Let me just get that real quick. This is John, just to make sure I'm quoting the right scripture. Yeah, John 19, yeah, right here, 20. This title then read, many of the Jews for their place where Yahrashai was crucified was nigh unto the city and it was written in Hebrew, Greek, and Latin. OK, so even if it was that word, J, you know, um, it would be Jesus. OK. But, you know, the thing is, is that the J was invented in what, 1524. OK. And that was a way to what have our people go astray from the name. OK. And that that's a whole, you know, that's a whole nother lesson. OK. But the elect is going to know what that the, the true name of the Lord. OK. It speaks about that in Brute 2, 2 and 32. And they would call upon that name. They wouldn't call upon Mosai, Christ, Bless, and all these different names. Okay? This is 2 Ezra 9 and 8. Shall, it says, shall be preserved from the said perils, and shall see my salvation in my land. So who's going to be preserved? The very elect within my borders, for I have sanctified them from the beginning. So going back to the elect being sanctified from the beginning. The foundation of the earth, even predestined. It says, they shall be pitiful case, which now have abused my ways, and they have cast them away despicably, or despitefully, Slakia, shall dwell in the torments. For such as in their life have received benefits and have not known me, and they have loathed my law, while they yet had liberty, as yet place of repentance was open unto them, understood not, but despise it. Okay, they same the same must know it after death by pain, and therefore be not thou curious how the ungodly shall be punished, and when but inquire how the righteous shall be saved, who's the who the world is and for whom the world is created. Okay, going into the elect. Okay, and ultimately all of Israel will be saved. Okay, but two thirds gotta die therein. This is um I want to get a scripture in here. This is Sirach seventeen and ten. Sirach 17 and 10, the elect shall praise his holy name. So the elect's going to praise the holy name. They're not going to call upon another name. Okay. And they're going to know the name. Okay. 
Brute 2 and 32. And they shall praise me in the land of their captivity and think upon my name. Okay? Which is in the ancient Hebrew. Yahweh and Yahweh This is Wisdom of Solomon 3 and 9. Wisdom of Psalm 3 and 9. They that put their trust in him shall understand the truth and shall be as faithful and love shall abide with him for grace and mercy is to the saints and he had care for his elect. Okay, the saints are the Hebrew Israelites, right? Okay, and he had care for his elect. Why would they put that? Why would Solomon put that too? Because he had care for his elect because elect is what the preserved. Okay, the elect, what the, the elect of Israel. Okay, which is very important. So let's go. I'm gonna I'm gonna end it. This is Zechariah 13 and 9. Zechariah 13 and 9. It says, I will it says, and I will bring the third part through socket 8. Zechariah 13 and 8. And it shall come to pass that in all the land, said the Lord Yahweh, two parts therein shall be cut off and die, but the third shall be left therein. So what is that talking about? Okay, that's talking about the two-thirds that are not going to get it. That I was speaking about in 2nd Ezra 9 that I just read. The ones that are not going to get it, that what load the law, they mocked and they scoffed, they came with false doctrine. Okay? So that means everybody's not going to make it. It says, And it shall come to pass that in the land said, Yahweh, thy two parts therein shall be cut off and die. Okay, and it's speaking about Babylon the Great. But the third shall be left therein. And I will bring the third part through the fire. Okay, the third part, which is speaking about the elect, the fire, which is what the cleansing of being purified, purified of what the uh, the purging of our sins. I will bring the third part through the fire again, bearing our cross. Okay, and will find them as silver as refined, and I will try them as gold is tried. Then shall call on my name. Okay, they shall call on my name. Is that Most High Christ blessed? No, it's Yahweh Yahweh Shai, Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. They shall call on my name, and I will hear them. I will say it is my people and they shall say, oh, Yahweh is my power. OK, they're not going to say most high Christ bless. OK, and that's why. Let me get this. I'm going to come back to that. First Peter four and 17 for it is time. It says for the time is come that judgment must begin at the house of Yahweh Bashem Shai. And if it first begin at us. What shall the end be of them that obey not the gospel of Yahweh Shema Shai? And if the righteous scarcely be saved, where shall the ungodly and the sinner appear? So the Lord's going to begin at the, those that of the circumcision, those that know their Hebrew Israelites. Okay. So and if the righteous scarcely be saved, which would be the elect, would be saved, where shall the ungodly and the sinner appear? Okay. So again, it's not for everybody; it's only for the elect. Zechariah 13 and 9, it says, I will bring the third pot through the fire and refine them as silver is refined, and I will try them as gold is tried, the elect, the remnant. They shall call on my name, Yahweh, Yahweh Shai. I will hear them. I will say, it is my power, and they shall say, thy Lord is my power. Okay? And let me get one more. And I'll end it on that one. This is Joel. Because no other name is going to be able to save you. It speaks about that in Acts 4. Joel 2 and 32, and it shall come to pass that whoever shall call on the name of Yahweh shall be delivered in the mountain Zion and Jerusalem shall be delivered, shall be deliverance as Yahweh has said, and the remnant whom Yahweh shall call. Okay, so with that, call Hala Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Rakakwada, Shalom, to the Lat, call me Yahshua.